Cezanne's fall collection just dropped, and I have 10 designs that you can sew for yourself. Hi, my name is Sarah, and my channel is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. Are you ready to be inspired? Let's just get straight to it with tops. The first top I have to share with you is called the Abelia blouse. It's a wrap style top. It has long sleeves with puffy sleeve caps, and it has a very drapey, flowy feel. The opening is also really deep, and so the pattern that I thought would work for this is the Sew Over It Anderson blouse. That blouse comes in sizes 8 to 20. From what I've heard from others who've made the Anderson, the Anderson also has a really deep plunging neckline, but I'm sure that if you didn't like that look, you could probably add a snap or something to keep it a little bit more modest. But I do think the design lines are very similar for the two blouses, and I think that if you used a really flowy, drapey fabric, you could get a really similar look to the Abelia blouse. The second top is called the Zelda blouse. This is a raglan style blouse. It's also made out of very flowy, drapey fabric. And it, the big feature is that it has a big tie neck that you can tie into a bow. The inspiration blouse is buttoned down all the way down the front. And the pattern that I've chosen doesn't have buttons, but you could probably find a way to add them if you wanted. But honestly, I would probably just leave that feature out because I don't think that it really defines the blouse. I think the look is really in the sleeves and in that tie bow. So the pattern that I've chosen for this is McCall's 8147. It's made out of a pretty similar fabric as the Zelda blouse, so I think you can see the similarity. It has those nice big sleeves, and I think that it would look really very similar if you used a similar fabric. This pattern comes in sizes extra small up to 2XL. The third top is the Bonnie shirt. Now when I saw this shirt, especially in the denim version, I just got extreme western vibes. It is a button-up shirt that has puffy sleeves with cuffs, and the pattern that I thought would work for this one is the Belle Etoile Harriet blouse. It comes in sizes 32 up to 52. Now the Harriet blouse does have some extra seaming detail. There's a curved yoke in the front, but I do think that the overall design feels very similar to the Bonnie, and again, I think if you made it in that chambray or the denim that they used, it would have a really similar feel. The Harriet blouse also has some extra pattern details where you don't have to use those options if you don't want to. You could have a more plain blouse. So if you buy that pattern, you would get a lot of versatility, not just that one design. The last top I have to share with you is called the Alexa sweatshirt. This is a very 80s inspired sweatshirt, but it has some really interesting and unique seaming details down the front. Now I did not find a pattern that was absolutely comparable to this, but I found one that's really similar. It's the Fiber Mood Leona, and that one comes in sizes extra small up to 3XL. It doesn't quite have the panel seaming that the Leona does, but I think you can see that the similarities are quite striking. You do have that 80s feel. It does have the gathering in the shoulder, and I think that it would make a really comparable look if you wanted to make it for yourself. The original sweatshirt is made out of an organic cotton sweatshirting. I would probably choose something a little bit drapier that would hold the gathers well, maybe something like a lightweight French terry. If you enjoy these types of videos and you would like to support the channel, I would really love it if you'd give me a thumbs up because it helps YouTube send my video out to new viewers. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's move on to bottoms. First up, I want to share the Martin Trousers, which is a flat front trouser that has slash pockets and welt pockets on the back. Cezanne has a couple of different fabric options for this pant. There's one in a denim and there's one in a suiting. You could really switch up the look depending on your fabric choice. The pattern that I chose for this is Simplicity 9647. This is out of their new fall collection. It comes in sizes 6 to 22. And it's not quite the same as the Cezanne, but I think that it looks pretty similar. It has a nice wide leg. If you made it in something drapey and a suiting, I think that it would look very similar to the Martin trousers. And I actually really like the look of these, and I might actually go ahead and recreate this for myself. The next pair of pants is the Clara Trousers. This is a slim fit trouser and I believe they've made it out of a stretch woven. This particular pair of pants does not have a fly front zipper, it zips on the side, but it does have slash pockets and it also has welt pockets in the back. So the pattern that I chose was the Hey June Handmade Rosalind Trousers. This pattern comes in sizes 0 to 30. Now the Rosalyn has a few differences. It does have a fly front zipper, which I actually prefer personally, but you, I'm sure that you could probably change it to a side zip if you really wanted. The reason that I chose this pattern over some others is because the Rosalyn trousers do have the slash pockets and the welt pockets. So I thought that it had the most similar features compared to some other patterns that do not. 
The Roslyn is specifically meant to be made in a ponte or some kind of stable knit, but I do think that it has a really similar look to the Clara. I don't know if you could use a stretch woven or not. Um, I would probably just use a ponte, but I think that the overall look could be really similar to the Clara. I also really like that the Roslyn has different leg options, so you can do it as a boot cut or a straight leg or a slim leg. For my body, because I don't really like slim fitting trousers, I would probably do one of the other leg options. So that would be sort of my homage to the Zezan without actually copying it. The last bottom that I have to share with you is called the Tabata skirt. This one is in a silk fabric. It's a midi skirt that has a side slit and a zipper closure. And the Cezanne version is lined. The pattern that I've chosen for this is the Chalk and Notch Evelyn skirt. It comes in sizes zero to 30. The Evelyn has several different options. There's a mini skirt, there's a button front option, and there is a third option, which is the one that I think is most similar to the Tabata. And it's a pull-on skirt with an elastic waist, and it's meant to be made out of a flowy fabric. I think that the Evelyn would look very similar to the other skirt, and it'd be even more comfortable because of the elastic in the back of the waist. And you could make it in many different fabrics. It would be so beautiful and a flowy, ditzy floral rayon. Let's talk about dresses. I've just selected one dress for you. It's called the Soledad dress. It's a flowy dress that has a tie neck with a drop waist. It's not fitted to the body, it's very loose. The pattern that I've chosen for this one is McCall's 8089, and it's looking like that it might be discontinued on the Something Delightful website because it's currently on clearance. So if you like this pattern, you might want to go out and get it pretty soon before it's gone. I actually had my eye on this pattern for several months now, and I've been thinking about it, but haven't picked it up. But now that I realize that it's going to be discontinued, I will probably buy this for myself in the next sale. This pattern comes in sizes 6 to 22. And again, it's not a perfect match, but it's pretty close. I think that you could lengthen the bodice of the McCall's dress just slightly to get that drop waist look. And one of the options on the McCall's dress does have a tie neck, but it's very skinny. I bet that you could easily widen the tie to make it look more like the Cezanne dress. And otherwise, I think that you're pretty much there. It's a really feminine, flowy dress. This dress is probably one that for my climate, I don't know that I would wear in the fall and winter that much, but I think that it would be a lovely dress for the warmer months. Or if you live in a warmer place than I do, you could probably get away with it with some tights and boots. Let's move on to some layering pieces. This next one was super easy for me because I just made a jacket that looks very similar to this. It's the Erwan jacket. It is a cropped shirt jacket and their version is made out of wool. It has the yoke detail. It has the big pockets with flaps and the nice big collar. And the pattern that I'm recommending for this is Simplicity 9388. And it's a unisex pattern that comes in sizes extra, extra small up to 2XL. The design details on the Simplicity pattern are extremely similar to the Erwan, so I don't think you'd have to do much modification. Now the one that I made is a cropped version and it is very cropped. I think that if you wanted to be more similar to the Cezanne jacket, you would need to lengthen that cropped view just a little bit, maybe a couple of inches. But otherwise, I think that it's pretty much a perfect match and you could make it in so many different fabrics and it's a perfect lightweight layer for fall. The next layering piece is a coat. It's called the Metric Coat. It's a midi length wrap coat and it has a very shallow notched collar. And the one that they show is in a classic camel color, which I think is just so beautiful and it would go with so many things in a minimalist wardrobe. The pattern that I found was the Fiber Mood Carmen. This is also a wrap coat, although it has a little bit of a different tie detail. The Carmen has an attached belt that ties at the side, while the Cezanne coat has a wider non-attached belt. But otherwise, I think that they look very similar. The reason that I chose the Carmen is because of that shallow notched collar. The details are really similar there. This pattern comes in sizes extra small up to 3XL, and it even shows it in the same camel colored wool. I think that you would get a really similar look to the Medric coat if you made the Carmen. If you want even more inspiration to copy your favorite Cezanne looks, watch this video next.